Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm going to be reading for the sign of Taurus. Some rising Venus signs. Taurus, this might not resonate with all of you. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, also, time is fluid, so whenever you see this, this is when you're supposed to see it. And energies can be reversed. I can be talking about you or someone around you, okay? What do we have for the sign of Taurus? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. Oh. We have relationships. Okay, what else? We have relationships, happiness, envy, and failure. So that sounds like two different energies to me. Someone's happy they're in a relationship, and someone else is not happy that they're, well, maybe they're just not happy that they're failing at something. It doesn't have to be about a relationship, but I feel uh, jealousy with this um, envy and failure card, so let's see what that's about. This could be you or someone else around you. Let's see what we have for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Sun, Moon, and Venus signs. Sign of Taurus. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Uh, Page of Pentacles, Earth energy. Two of Wands, Fire. King of Pentacles, Earth energy. King of Wands, Fire energy. Three of Cups, Water, uh, the Tower, Scorpio, and then we have the Hermit, Virgo. That is interesting. Let's see what we got here. For the Sign of Taurus. Um, so someone is making a decision here, and what they're doing is they're letting something fall down. Could be an Earth sign with. Um, could be an earth sign with fire in their chart or a fire sign with earth in their chart, Taurus. Or I could be talking about you. You could have fire in your chart. Why is temperance here for Taurus? Queen of Pentacles. So you're sort of um, being patient with yourself. You could be a mother. You, you are financially stable. You're not really focused on love, really. So, and that's how they see you. They see you as a Queen of Pentacles. Why is the Page of Pentacles here for Taurus? Four of Swords. So, I feel like this person wants to come um, towards you. Someone wants to come towards you, but they're sort of like mulling over and they're meditating in their head right now. And I feel like they had an epiphany while they were um, meditating. The Tower, Scorpio energy. Um, that also represents a... Um, sort of like a, a realization, a shocking realization. The world card fell out. I'm going to put it right on the tower because I felt like that's what it wanted to do. So, so someone is shocked that you closed something out here and they're sort of mulling over how to speak to you, I'm hearing. They're sort of um, meditating on how to speak to you. Eight of Swords wanted to come out. Um, they could be stuck in their head. Tell me about the King of Pentacles, please. So, the King of Pentacles is like a husband type energy, really stable, Queen of Cups. So, this person has feelings for you. There's nothing, um, I don't think they hide that from you. They have feelings for you, but here's the thing they're just sort of, um, they're shocked right now and they're just, they're resting and they're mulling over the fact that this is an ending and a new beginning for you. Give me something for the Two of Pentacles. I'm sorry, the Two of Wands for Taurus. Two of Wands for Taurus. The Devil card. 
Three of Cups for Taurus, please. Four of Wands. So you definitely made a, a decision here um, to leave a toxic situation behind. That's what I'm feeling. It was like a decision that you you really thought about for a while before you actually made the move to do so. Three of Cups, Four of Wands. Give me the King of Wands. Why is the King of Wands here for Taurus, please? The Hierophant. I was thinking about that. So, um... They see you as commitment material, and they could be coming towards you, right? I don't think you want them, though. You're the Queen of Pentacles and the Temperance. I don't think you're paying attention. It's not, it's not that you don't want them. It's that you're not paying attention to them right now. And they have feelings for you, and you, but you're taking steps to close things out, and they can see that. You're planning. You're planning. That's what I heard. Give me the Hermit card for Taurus, please. the emperor so you could have sort of just uh, went in a hermit mode and that's how you got your control back by pulling away from a toxic energy and making a decision about pulling away from it um, or this person has went within and see, sees you as commitment material it can go either way and they can see you as like a person who is taking control I feel like that can go either way to be honest with you because I really feel like they're in their head, kind of, a little bit about how to come towards you. About what to say to you. Crown Chakra. Hmm. Crown Chakra wanted to come out. So, yeah, okay, I see it. Crown Chakra, Rejoice and Celebration, that's Three of Cups energy. I really feel like with the Crown Chakra, um, you guys are spiritually awakened. I get it with the Hermit. And the um, Hierophant here, Taurus and Virgo energy. You're sort of like coming, becoming awakened to new things now in the Heart Chakra. So um, this person is starting to, that's this person for sure. This King of Pentacles energy. This person is starting to um, sort of have feelings for you. I feel like I'm hearing like they became, they become awakened to their feelings for you. Because maybe you make this person happy, so now they have to... The reason why they might be feeling envy is because they see other people around you. Maybe. I'm hearing that for somebody. But overall, I think this person's going to come forward. They're, they see you as Three of Cups energy and Four of Wands energy. And that's... And, and the Hermit card. And the Hierophant card. That all screams commitment to me and that they're coming towards you. It's just all on how they're going to do it. Because they feel like you're here. You're you're on your, you have your crown chakra together. So they just got to figure out a way to come towards you. If you want this person back. Alright Taurus, that's all I have for you right now. Uh, thank you for listening. If that resonated for you, go ahead and message me on Facebook. Natalie, S-I-E-R-R-A, and I would be happy to get that started for you. All right, thank you. Namaste. Bye.